Hi, welcome. My name is Officer Justin Madera with the City of Bethlehem Police Department, and I'm here today with my partner, Officer Ryan Danko. Today we have a very special book about Robert the Rose Horse. But before we get started, we'd like to tell you about the horses that we get to work with on a daily basis. We're part of the Bethlehem Mounted Police, and so we have the benefit of working with the horses of the Bethlehem Police Department on a daily basis. My full-time partner is Seamus, and something special about Seamus is he's celebrating his fifth birthday tomorrow. So everybody please wish him a very happy birthday. And I ride Casper. He's a six-year-old Clydesdale thoroughbred. So now let's get into the book, Robert the Rose Horse. Robert was a happy little horse. He lived on a farm. He lived with his mother and his father. One day, Robert had a party. It was his birthday. All his farm friends came to the party. They had a big cake. Happy birthday, Robert, said all of his friends. Happy birthday to you. The cake was very pretty. It had big roses all around it. Robert liked those red roses. He put his nose right into one and took a big sniff. Then Robert got a funny feeling. His eyes began to itch, his nose began to itch, and then, kerchoo, Robert sneezed. What a sneeze. Up went his farm friends, up went the cake, up went the roses, and Robert fell down flat. His mother called the doctor. The doctor looked at Robert. Say, ah, said the doctor. Ah, said Robert. Aha, said the doctor. I know what made him sneeze. I know I am right, said the doctor. You will see. Here, Robert, take a little sniff. Robert put his nose into those roses. He took a little sniff. Again, his eyes began to itch, his, and his nose began to itch. Kerchoo went Robert. Bang went the window. Bang went the door. Up went the roses, and the doctor fell down flat. I was right, said the doctor. Roses are very bad for you. There are too many roses on this farm. You must get away from them. You must go to the city. So Robert had to go. Goodbye, he said to his mother and father. I will be all right in the city. I will find work. I will find a job. Robert did find a job in the city. He went to work for a milkman. He took the milkman and his wagon all around the city. It was a good job, and Robert was happy. Robert liked this kind of job. Then one day, a man walked next to Robert. The man had a flower in his coat. The flower in his coat was a rose. A rose? And right under his nose, Robert got that funny feeling again. His nose began to itch, and his eyes began to itch, and Kerchoo went Robert, crash went the wagon, splash went the milk, up went the milkman, and the man with the rose fell down flat. Go away, the milkman told Robert. You cannot work for me anymore. So Robert began to look for work again. But it was hard for a horse to find a job. He looked for many days. One day he saw some horses. They had people on them. Say, I could do that work like that, said Robert. I will ask for a job. Robert went to the door. A man came out. You look like a good horse, the man told Robert. You can work for me, but you will have to work hard. You will have to do everything you are told. So Robert went to work. He did just as he was told. When he was told to go slow, he went slow. When he was told to go fast, he went fast. Robert did everything he was told. I like this work, Robert said, and I am going to keep this job. Then, one day, he took a woman for a, woman for a ride. Everything was going well, but all at once, look, the woman said. Look at those pretty roses. I want those roses. Robert, take me over there at once. What could Robert do? 
He had to do as he was told. He took the woman to the roses. Again, he got that funny feeling. His nose began to itch. His eyes began to itch. And Kurt Choo went Robert. Away went the wagon. Away went the flowers. Up went the woman. And the flower man fell down flat. Once more, Robert was out of a job. <clears throat> Robert had to look for work again. He looked and looked. Fathers had work. Mothers had work. Everyone had some kind of work, but there were not many jobs for a horse. Robert walked and walked, and he looked and looked. Then at last, Robert saw something. He saw a job that he could do. He could be a police horse. I will go in and I will ask for the job, he said. When Robert came out, he was a police horse, and he was a good police horse. He did all kinds of police work. One day, Robert worked on Bank Street. Some men came down the street, three men. One of them had a black bag. They went into the bank. Robert did not see them. <coughs> Then all at once, someone called out, help, police, help. Robert looked around. He saw three men. They were robbers, bank robbers. They ran right at Robert. They ran right over to him, and away they went. Robert got up fast. He had to stop those robbers. But how? How could he do it? And then Robert saw a rose. It was not a big rose, but it was a rose. Robert began to think, he began to think fast. Robert went over to that rose. He put his nose right in the rose. He took a big sniff, a big, big sniff, and he began to get that old funny feeling. His eyes began to itch. His nose began to itch. Robert sneezed, kerchoo. Never was there a sneeze like it. Away went cats, away went hats. Up went dogs, down came birds. Bang went the guns, up went the black bags, and the robbers fell down flat. Hooray! Hooray for Robert, everyone yelled. The bank man was happy. The policemen were happy. Everyone was happy. Robert had stopped the robbers. He had sneezed the robbers flat. The next day there was a party, and it was for Robert. His mother and father came. His farm friends came. The doctor came, and all the police came too. Then one of them got up. Robert, he said, I have something for you. Roses, yelled the doctor. Hold on to your hats. Here comes a sneeze. Robert will sneeze us all into Chicago. Robert took a little sniff. His nose did not itch. His eyes did not itch. Then Robert took a big, big sniff. That big kerchew had done it. Robert at, least, at last was all sneezed out, and Rosers never made Robert sneeze again. Alrighty, wasn't that a fun book, learning about Robert the Rose Horse? Turns out his sneezing wasn't actually a weakness, it was actually a strength of his, because it turned out to save the day. So what better way to remember Robert than to make our very own horse? So this one is brown, but I'm going to show you how to make a white horse today. You can make a gray horse, a black horse, purple horse, whatever color horse you'd like. So all you'll need is a paper plate, any color you'd like, some construction paper, any color you'd like, some markers, scissors, tape or glue. I use tape just because it saves on time for drying. And without further ado, I'll show you how to make a nice fun little horse. So we already have a nice circle, but if your plate is too big, you can cut it down. I did cut mine down a little bit for this one, but I'll leave it this big because I think we can do a big horse today. So he does have a little snout, which is a nice little oval. So I already cut out a brown oval for his nose. So I'm gonna take the tape and tape it right on there, nice and easy like that. And you can see I use little donuts for my tape because I don't have glue. And I just kind of roll the tape up. You can ask a parent for help if you don't know how to do this. And once I get it nice and settled, I'm gonna put it right towards the bottom and make sure that's stuck down like so, just like that. And I have to draw on his little snout. So I do two little half circles. I'll show you what I mean after I get them on. I do two little half circles kind of towards the top portion of it. So that's his nose, like where he breathes. And then I'm going to do a big old smile. 
because I like my horse to be happy. And I hope you all are too. So, nice little smile, easy as can be. You'll need some white paper if you're doing a white horse. Um, so that way you can cut out some ears because your horse needs to be able to hear. So I cut out, I'm going to draw first, two triangles. But they're not quite straight lines, they're kind of rounded instead because it's not a perfect triangle. So they look kind of like that. You can see they're not, they're kind of like cones, I guess is a better description. I'm going to cut those out of my white paper so that way it matches my white horse. So if you make a purple horse, you could have purple ears. That's cool too. I just don't have any purple plates. All right. Nice and easy. You can see I have two ears, just like that. And I left a little room at the bottom so that way I can tape it onto the back of the plate. So I'm gonna flip my plate upside down and I'm gonna tape it to the back, kind of towards the top, making it symmetrical on either side. Just like that. And now I'll do the other side. Just like that. And you can see he has two little ears poking out right now. Doesn't quite look like a horse yet, but we're getting there. Next, I have two eyes. I already have white picked out. And now I get to decorate my eyes. So I'm going to make his eyes green. So I'm going to do a circle within the eye. And kind of like add it like a semicircle. This green marker is running out on me, but I'm going to make it work for this. So we'll do another one right here. Just like that. And you can see I did two little half circles on either side, just like that. And then with the black marker, I'm going to fill in the other half, like his pupil. I'm going to do it nice and quick, kind of sloppy, just for the sake of time. But yours can have any color eye you'd like, which is nice and cool. I just chose green because... Why not? But this guy just has black eyes for now. So we're going to color that in as well. And if you have big googly eyes, you could use those too. That'd be kind of cool. So his eyes would move around. You can see, two eyes, kind of like that. And you get to tape them on or glue them on however you see fit. All right, I'm going to do another little half circle. Get that on there. I'm going to have him looking to the side. That's okay. Or you can have him look cross-eyed. You can make him a crazy horse. That's cool too. Whatever you'd like. So I'll show you what I just did. He has two eyes now, looking that way. <laughs> and now we're going to make his hair at the very top. You can see he has hair at the top, his mane. And you can kind of wing this. There's no wrong way to do this. You can make it nice and long if you'd like. I only did his at the top here. But I kind of start off with like a half circle and make it a nice little wave with some spikes at the end because the spikes are kind of like his like hair. And if you make it too big, you kind of just eyeball it. Um, so I'm kind of putting it up there and I'm like, that looks a little too big. So because I'm going to cut that portion off, I'm going to take it like that and maybe make this a little bit smaller. We'll see. And if it doesn't work, we retry. Luckily with crafts, you can always just keep retrying to get it the way you like it. I'm going to cut out the nice little spikes for his hair. You can do rainbow hair. If you use, like, white hair and some marker, you can add some braids. You can do a lot of things with your horse's hair. All right. Ooh. And if you need help cutting, don't, don't hesitate to ask for a parent or guardian or maybe your older sibling to help you. So you can see I'm kind of eyeballing it. He has some hair now. And what I did on the other side was I drew some lines to make it look like the strands of hair. So that way I can take that on right on the back. It's nice and easy. Luckily with these kind of crafts, there's no wrong way to do it. However you want your horse to look, your horse is going to look. And that's my favorite part is that everybody can do whatever they like and they're all right. All right. You can see... I'm going to put that on there like so. And if it doesn't quite stick, luckily with tape I can retape it. So I didn't like that spot. Kind of like that. So you can see now he has some hair. And what I did for this guy was, since I like to hold him up so it's like I have, I'm the horse, I used a pencil just for his little stand. And what I did was I taped it onto the back 
So I kind of centered it right in the middle. You can use a popsicle stick, um, a skewer, anything you have at home that's kind of like a stick. You can use an old sign holder. There's quite a few things you could use for this, but just because it's handy, I'm using a pencil. So you can see now it's that way. And because you are using a paper plate, you could hole punch the top or the bottom and use some string and hang them up in your window or on your wall, anything you'd like to do. There's really no wrong way to do it. But I hope you had some fun making horses with me today, and I can't wait to see yours.